Okay, ZetaTAC Proxy is designed to be used by people with a wide range of security experience. And as such, this is ideal for developers and functional testers who are new to penetration testing, as well as being a useful addition to an experienced pen tester's toolbox. Its features, like I talked about, are including uh, intercepting proxy, automated scanners, passive scanners, and spider. A web browser with internet access and administrator privileges is going to be required in part to install this tool. So you're going to want to make sure also that the Java runtime environment is installed. Okay. So let me go ahead and run the task for the SSL certificate to hack into a website and redirect the request made in the Bing site. Now in the main interface of Zap, we're going to select Tools and we're going to click Options. Now then we're going to select Dynamic SSL Certificates and click Generate to generate a certificate. And then we'll click Save. Now if the certificate already exists, we're going to replace it with the new one. And we'll save the certificate in the root directory and click OK in the Options window. Now if you have Google Chrome, you should have Chrome version 22 or newer installed on your system. We're going to change the proxy server settings in Chrome by clicking the Customize and Control Google Chrome button. And then we're going to click Settings. Now on the Google Chrome Settings page, go ahead and click Show Advanced. And this link is at the bottom of the screen. So we're going to scroll down and click. Um, once we click that, then we're going to click Change Proxy Settings. Now on Internet Properties Wizard, let's click Connections and LAN settings. Now check, use a proxy server for your LAN. So I'm going to do that. So now I'm using a proxy and I'm going to type 127.0.0.1 in the IP address and we're going to enter port 8080 in the port field and click advanced. So let's check, use the same proxy for all protocols and then click OK three times. A, B, and C. So let's now go ahead and start Zap and click Set Break on all requests and Set Break on all responses too. Now let's navigate to our, to our browser and open bing.com. And we're going to trap all the requests and responses from the browser. So let's go to the application. We'll click on this option, Submit, and go to Next, the Request or Response. Okay, so we're going to start a search for cars in our browser. And now let's go back and we'll open Zap, which shows first trapped incoming web traffic. So see the first few lines of the trapped traffic in the trap window. And let's go ahead and keep clicking, submit, and then go to the next response or resp re request or response until you see the, the word cars in the get request in the break tab. Now change the query text from cars to cakes in the get request and click submit and then we're going to go to the next request or response search for a title in the response pane and replace cars with cake. So this is important. So here we're changing the text cakes to cars. Now the Bing search shows cakes whereas the results displayed are for cars. So see the, the Bing search web page displayed in the browser with the query or the search query as cakes. So that's it. You've, you've just forced an unsuspecting web browser to go to any page of your choosing. Burp Suite is very useful for securing a testing of web applications during its inception stages. It has different tools to back the whole testing methodology. It can start from mapping and examining an application's assault surface through to discovering and abusing security vulnerabilities. The key features of Burp Suite include a proxy, spider, scanner, gate crasher, instrument, repeater tool, sequence sequencer tool, and so on. Mm -hmm. We will demonstrate some of these features now. That's right. Let's get right to it. Mm -hmm.